Hello and welcome to this lecture about natural organic matter removal with coagulation. My name is Bas Heijman and I'm an associate professor at Delft University of Technology. In this presentation we will see that coagulation is an important treatment step in drinking water production. That there are three different coagulation mechanisms. We will learn what part of the natural organic matter is removed with coagulation. I will finish with some remarks about the seasonable variation in non-removal. Coagulation is in fact the workhorse of the conventional surface water treatment. It is used as the first step in the treatment train. After coagulation and flocculation, the flocks are allowed to settle. Finally, the small flocks are removed with rapid sand filtration. During coagulation, chemicals are dosed like iron or aluminum salts in order to produce flocks. During coagulation, small flocks are formed. After this flocculation, it is necessary to produce flocks that are big enough to settle. Here you see a surface water treatment plant in the Netherlands. Coagulation and flocculation is in the building below. The flocks are settling in the sedimentation tank. You see in fact the brown color of the settled sludge in the beginning of the settlers. At the other end of the clarified water is leaving the settlers and going to the filtration buildings. The chemicals for coagulation are dosed under severe mixing. In this case, a waterfall mixer is shown and the coagulant is dosed on top of the waterfall. Of course, the coagulant dose is one of the important parameters in the process. Also the pH, the temperature and the salt concentration are important. Three different mechanisms are distinguished in coagulation. The first mechanism is the electric coagulation. Colorids in natural water are negatively charged. Iron ions are positively charged. When the iron ions, ions absorb on the surface of the colorids, the charge is neutralized and the colorids tend to merge. The second mechanism is adsorption uh, coagulation. This is the most important mechanism for non-removal. The natural organic matter for instance humic acids absorb on the positively charged iron particles. During flocculation, bigger flocks are formed. The third mechanism is sweep coagulation. The main benefit of this mechanism is that colorids, here in blue, are trapped in the larger flocks. At the same time also humic acids are moved. In most of the surface water treatment plants, Sweep coagulation is used to remove particles and NOM at the same time. An important way to investigate coagulation is the so-called YAR test. In this test the coagulation flocculation is simulated. You can observe the flocks in the YARs and for instance vary the pH and the coagulant dose in order to obtain the optimal pH and dose. The removal of natural organic matter is increasing with the coagulant dose in this water type. In this water type, the removal of organic matter is only 70% at the coagulant dose of 100 mg aluminum per liter. So in this water type, coagulation is not very effective. The removal of organic matter is more efficient at lower pH. In this water type, the organic matter removal increases above 50% at lower pHs. In this graph, the different NOM fractions are characterized based on the molecular weight and on the hydrophobicity or hydrophilicity. The molecular weight is on the y-axis and the hydrophilicity is on the x-axis. We distinguish hydrophobic molecules, humic acids, biopolymers, building blocks, low molecular weight acids and low molecular weight neutrals. With coagulation we can remove all the hydrophobic organics and part of the humic acids and the biopolymers. 
The last topic of this presentation is the seasonal variation in non-removal risk correlation. In this graph, we observe that during the cold season, more coagulant is dosed to get proper sized flux to settle. Despite of the higher coagulant dose, the removal of natural organic matter is always decreasing in winter period. Thank you for your attention.